Hello my friends and welcome back to another Brood War ladder battle. We've got Speed spawning here in the top left hand corner. He's going up against Bisu down in the bottom right. And I'm very excited for this little series we have today. It's four games between these two players who are currently in the SSL. I wonder who's going to get farther. Do you think it's going to be Speed? Do you think it's going to be Bisu? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. No spoilers, anybody. Don't spoil any of the results for me or anyone else if you're watching this uh, in the future. Who do you think will end up getting further this season? I think that a lot of you are going to say Bisu. Some of you might say Speed. He's been showing some great results recently. Bisu, the old pro, who's just absolutely killing it lately as well we've seen some great plays out of him recently uh, i don't think anyone wants to bet against bisu but speed has been leveling up a lot recently and i love to see a an up-and-comer i love to see somebody who's pushing the envelope who's trying to move the game forward and in a lot of ways speed is that guy who Wants to try out different builds and builds and do very well. Nexus first here from Bisu. Or is doing very well, excuse me. Nexus first here from Bisu on Monty Hall. And what kind of craziness are we going to go for here? Speed will be two-facting it. Very interesting stuff. Now, what is he going to do with this two-fact? How is he going to get down here to the bottom right? in order to deal any damage with this. Now, there are ways that you can, for example, land a barracks while running vultures underneath it to hop the vultures over a wall like this. Oh, the probe is actually getting in. Okay, that's huge. That is huge. Speed not paying full attention to that wall. If he was standing right next to the wall, he should have been able to see the probe before it hopped over and put a lot more damage on it, but he hasn't been able to. Can he trap it behind here? If you build something right there, he does have something. He's only seen one factory. This is actually massive. Can he block this? Oh, it gets through and it will see everything. That is a huge reveal right here. You know what Bisu will be doing. Throwing down extra gateways, pumping out a bunch of dragoons. He may want to throw down a shield battery here as well. There's the two extra gates. This is perfect response from Bisu, and this is going to just be so much trouble for speed. Oh, man, I bet he's regretting not building an extra marine at this point or putting this right next to the patches. Either one would have allowed him to deny the scout. But of course, there's three different pathways that Bisu could have tried to get in with. You know, he could have hopped him... Uh, a probe over here and then hopped over here it's not like it would have been a hundred percent effective now the dragoon is just gonna stand in the wall that is so annoying well i think there's enough dps here to at least kill the dragoon okay he does get that one vulture very very low here he's still gonna continue with that across the map but it may end up getting picked off rather quickly just one shot left let's see what kind of damage he can do now bisu hasn't set up like a pylon wall or anything he didn't build uh, uh okay he's gonna throw down an emergency gateway that was a very good move here to just stall this out a little bit looks like the mines may end up connecting but two vultures do end up dying great little wall here throwing down an extra pylon i can't believe that's a full wall but i i guess it is kind of crazy though and uh, range is just about to finish. That's going to come down in a second. Wow, both of these at 5 HP. How crazy is that? Both of those two vultures at 5 HP. Now, he did the trick. Okay, he actually did the trick, but it didn't work out very well. Landing the uh, barracks and trying to hop over. Doing the best that he can right now to make this game crazy. Adding on a command center behind this, but you really do need to deal some damage here. You can't just... Uh, let this slide. We have to get over there and actually do something. Otherwise, Bisu is going to get so far ahead, it'll be nearly impossible to make this comeback. Oh, oh, good mine connection there. That was pretty sick. Two more vultures are going to come down as well. Looks like quite a few of these vultures have actually fallen. How many kills do we have? Four and one. 
Some of those could be mines, but most likely, uh, or for the most part, those are going to be vulture kills. So pretty rough so far from speed. Plus, we're opening up another pathway here for Bisu. Bisu going to maybe come out and take another Nexus. Oh my god, that one's still alive. That's crazy. That one uh, zealot ate like six mines. And it's still going to be living here. Barracks kind of threatening over at this middle mineral field. But speed not able to get in there and deal the damage. And anytime you do a two fact and it doesn't kill your opponent, it's a bad time. It is just a rough situation to try and maneuver your way out of. And we're likely going to have, you know, a bunch of observers and way too many gateways for this number of tanks to handle. You can see we've only got three tanks. He sees the number of Dragoons coming out here. Oh my God, time to go home. You might be able to hold it right here. It might be okay. Just set up a bunch of tanks right there. Four tanks plus a bunch of mines here. Maybe it'll be fine. And another pylon coming down here just to block these vultures from trying to make this run by happen. We go ahead and target down one of those mines. The vultures are soon to follow because Speed is worried about getting set up back at home right now. He doesn't want to get broken. May end up just going with the Zealot though. Zealot coming in, taking a bit of damage. Looks like he won't aggress here. I thought he might just try to tar get all the uh, tanks to target that one Zealot and then try to go forward with the Dragoons. But instead, he's just going to back off. He's fine. He is 100% fine. Throwing all of his army away could actually give speed an opportunity maybe to come back in this. But if he just stays back, plays careful, doesn't allow vulture run bys like this to, to kill a bunch of probes or anything, then he should be able to win this game. He should just have such a macro advantage. It might not matter at all. Vulture's going to run by into the main. There are some dragoons here. Probes are going to be sent forward. Let's see what kind of damage he can do. First Reaver pops out. It's a great scout in here as well. Okay, that mine only went off on the Zealot. Did not hit the Reaver there. So not really getting much damage, honestly. We're still at 56 probes. And we've got triple Nexus. So we we'll to be able to pump those numbers up here shortly. Two vultures are running around the outside. We are going to come forward with the tanks. Wow. Eight tanks and nothing else coming forward here. Air weapons and gravitic drive on the way for Bisu. He's planning to make a switch into a uh, carrier soon. He's going to have to deal with this attack long before those carriers are out and ready. Um, he's actually going to re retreat down here, which I thought he might retreat over here to create a bit of a better position to fight from, but... He's actually fallen back into this kind of choked up area. And if tanks get down here, it can be really hard to dislodge. We have a missile turret finishing up. If he puts a missile turret here. Oh, wait. Whoa, whoa. What is this? Dragoons in the main base. That's That'll uh, throw you off there. Speed having a little bit of a hard time dealing with that. And the dragoons could actually get quite some kills. Seven kills already on one of those dragoons. Tanks are still pushing in here. Let's see what he can do with some zealot bombs. And the Zealot Bomb going to deal one, a kill off one of these tanks. Another tank goes down. Still, these two dragons just wreaking havoc in the main. A little bit funny that he didn't decide to, you know, go in. Maybe kill some uh, SCVs with that. We have a drop ship out now as well. We don't even have an armory? Yeah, we have an armory, excuse me. But no upgrade at all. Zero upgrades. And we've got a Wraith. This is a really strange game right now. And... Speed is not interesting and sim interested in simplifying. He's trying to make it weird. Oh, the Reaver goes down. A little bit of Miss Micro there from Bisu is really going to hurt him now. Two Stargates, but there's actually a mine here. That is so funny. Look at that. Perfectly spots. Perfectly spots those carriers. Drop over here on the right-hand side. Good combo with the uh, attack over here on the left. See what kind of damage it can do. There's a lot of probes being sent over here. This could deal massive damage while Bisu's worried about attacks over in the other uh, part of this map. Oh, set down some mines. Go to work on those probes up here. He should be able to kill nearly all of them. Okay, he's going to pick up, head up towards that top side. Oh, dude, Bisu's falling apart right now. Speed is getting the better of him. He's going to land on this high ground. Utilize the tank to just shoot down from the high ground. 
I wish he would have just dropped the vultures here, though. He could have picked off a lot of those. Uh, instead, bringing them all up onto the high ground, this tank will just be denied. That's a little bit, a little bit sad here for speed. But he's going to kill this Nexus, and he might be able to push in with this. As long as he keeps leapfrogging uh, turrets forward, and just keep building the turrets and moving them forward and forward, he should be able to make this happen. He does need anti-air here, though. There's carriers on the way, and we've still got shuttles out. It's a little bit dangerous to be going this close to the main. He's, he might be getting ahead of himself right now. He needs, actually, Goliaths. I can't believe he hasn't started Goliath production. This is hilarious. Guys, we have the most ridiculous mind. Look at this. We even see the carrier. Okay, he sees it. He sees it finally. He starts Caron Booster. That should have been started so, so long ago. But Speed, I guess he's just uh, a little bit in the moment right now. <laughs> you know, trying to break the, the base down here and trying to get those drops going. And so he just sees it now. Uh, Goliaths are a really long way away. This is such a long map. It's going to take a very long time for these Goliaths to make it down here. He's going to try to push in with just one turret defending these tanks. I mean, it's not even in range to hit any of these uh, interceptors. So this will definitely end up getting cleaned up in the long run. He's going to try and move in. I don't really like this move. I feel like saving the tanks is way more impactful than dealing a little bit of damage to a couple of these Stargates. But hey, I guess to each his own. He's going to come in here and shave the shields off of these at the cost of like five tanks. And then send the rest back home. Interesting decision making, honestly. <laughs> I was not expecting that, but here we go. He will save three tanks at least. I mean, even bring this one back, man. Like, what are we doing? What are we doing here? One Wraith just out of range of these probes. He would love to hit those, but unfortunately just can't quite uh, reach that far. An army moving around the right-hand side now. He's going to try and shut down this base. If he kills the third, I think we may see Speed win this game. But at the same time, a Reaver shuttle heading over towards this base. It's going to drop off and maybe just annihilate this army. Meanwhile, or annihilate these drones. SCVs. Oh my gosh. Army fighting over here on the right-hand side. I'm missing it. We've got tanks banging away here, but only two. And with four carriers out... He should be able to shut this down. The, the Reaver returns back home, but look at that. 29 workers. I might have to picture and picture that because I think a ton of workers just went down. An absolute insane amount of damage here in the third base. And look, we've almost got nothing left. Speed is running on fumes. He's got hardly any income. He's going to try and jump on these carriers, but look at how many Dragoons there are there. And GG is called... Speed taps out, and Bisu takes the first game here on Monty Hall. But it was pretty ridiculous. It was a pretty insane game. You've got to say, this was uh, maybe not Speed's finest moment. But he was trying out something a bit different. You know, he wanted to go for the two factory play. Very nice scout, though, from Bisu to figure out that that was coming beforehand with the probe. And to just counter it perfectly. I mean, things were looking a little hairy when he lost this base. And that he was getting dropped over here. But maybe a tiny bit of mismanagement from speed. You know, he could have gotten a lot more probes if he just run the, the vultures over here immediately. Rather than picking back up inside. Uh, the Picking the, the tank back up inside here. Just leave the tank here to deal some damage. And just run over here with the vultures. He could have killed so many probes. Also, this drop over here. Yeah, I'll have to picture and picture that right now. So I'll go do that. You guys can jump into game number two. I'll see you there. Okay, after that pretty crazy game number one, we're going to be moving over to Pantheon for game number two. We've got Speed in the bottom left. Bisu in the bottom right. And... Well, I doubt we're going to see anything quite like that last one in this game. The two-factory play has been... Pretty bad for a very long time. Not a lot of players really go for it anymore. And I feel like that was just speed trying something. Or maybe wanting to hide the way that he likes to play that map. Because 
I don't know how many different styles you're going to be preparing as an ASL player for a specific map, but I imagine that the most, uh, the strongest, the, the best styles that you're definitely, you're going to want to pull out during the ASL. I doubt you're going to want to just throw them around on the ladder. Um, that's just my two cents. Like, why not save those builds for when it really counts and you know just ha play for fun maybe on the ladder um you could you know do some some strong builds on pantheon because it's not like we don't know a variety of builds for a map like pantheon it's just monty hall might be one of those maps where you prepare a very specific build in a very specific style and then you don't want to reveal that to anybody double gateway here after nexus first now bisu just gonna stick with the nexus first here and going for the more safe option behind this to make sure that he won't get bowled over immediately by just a marine rush with a bunker anything like that and that's actually not what's gonna happen here because speed has opted to go for his own mineral uh Mineral only expensive gasless. That's what I meant to say. Gasless fast expand. So, you know, he's not planning on putting on huge aggression, trying to kill that Nexus. He wanted to go for an eco build himself. And so Bisu could have gotten away with a single gateway, but it's not a big deal. He went two zealots as well. He got the late scouts. So it's not like he can, like if, if he got this scout in early, he probably would have canceled the second gateway or maybe just not built it at all. Uh, depending on how early that scout came in and he could have just not built zealots and gone directly into dragoons um and then gotten the range a little bit quicker maybe gotten the gas a bit faster that type of thing just kind of min maxed his build slightly more but here you know he's gonna have two zealots it's not the worst thing in the world uh had there been the marine rush with a bunch of uh scvs being pulled then he would have had something to deal with it and so it's not the most optimal build here for Bisu, but I would say that things are pretty well even. Pretty darn close to even. This factory placement, I wonder if... Does the fact does the, does the tank pop out on this side? I'd say it probably pops out over here. I don't think it can pop here. I think this is actually blocked. So I, I think it might pop here or there, but I'm, I'm interested to see where that actually comes out. It's kind of funny, he's putting the engineering bay here too so maybe having the engineering bay on the left hand side maybe that actually forces whatever to pop out on this top left which is kind of interesting SCV heading over here towards this main base I don't think we have range I didn't see that in production but he's maybe just gonna bulldog this oh boy the SCV pull was just on time, but is it going to be enough? He's got two, three on there. A fourth one going to come up. Good blocking here by Bisu, and he will get this bunker. Oh, man, that's rough. That bunker going down really, really quick. He does get one surround on a, a single Dragoon here, but a lot of SCVs are falling. The Marines are already gone. That first tank is out. It's going to be able to kill the Zealot here in a moment. Zealot only getting one hit there. The SCVs should be able to back off now. We still don't have range just yet, so the, the tank will massively outrange these. They're going to be a little bit hard to get on top of that tank, but you still have to be careful. Yeah, see this tank? Th these dragons are just not going to be able to hit this tank as long as it keeps backing up at the appropriate time. All right, he gets a couple hits on it. Yeah, but it's just, it's, it's hard, guys. It's very hard to hit this tank. Okay, he will get one tank, it seems. It's the one. Can he get the second one? Wow, he gets the second tank as well. Oh my god, he's gonna get the third tank. Two more dragoons show up. Dude, you really messed up by not pulling your SCVs here, Speed. Why are you just gonna fight that? Even without range, still able to kill three tanks. Pretty insane. Um, yeah, that's crazy. You know, my, my judgment there on Speed being able to kite those dragoons was premised on the fact that speed would actually try to kite them <laughs> i didn't expect him to just stand there on the top of the ramp and fight straight up against rangeless dragoons he can't just keep running there's more space back here pull some scvs block the ramp uh and you should be able to win that no problem um 
Now coming across the ramp, or coming across the map, excuse me, with some of these vultures. Looks like he's gonna get the hit with that mine, which is pretty nice, but he can't actually get into the main. And there's a Reaver going across the map now. Speed is already behind pretty substantially. And he's got no tanks here. He's building one tank right now. He's adding on some mines. He doesn't have anything back here at the natural. He can't deal any damage uh, at his opponent's nat. And this is gonna just is gonna get worse and worse, guys. This is gonna get worse and worse, Bisu. In here with the Reaver gonna kill SCVs left, right, and center. There's another two kills. And another one about to go down here. Just mines over here. Completely ineffective against what Bisu is doing. He's gonna drop a zealot on this mine. All right, dealing some damage there. Another big shot. Oh boy. Oh man, that's so much damage. Oh, oh, it's painful. One turret about to come up. There's the speed finishing. You can hear something going on. I guess he's hitting his own pylon. Zealot drops out. Doesn't really get anything done, but he's done enough. He's honestly done enough. Oh, pick that up. Oh, good dodge. Bisu causing both of the mines to blow up, but keeping that Reaver at good hit points here. Very nice play from him. Gonna clear out this third base as well, and man, I don't even know what you do here is speed. This is, you're in such a bad, bad shape. Armory? Ah, uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. I guess he's gonna try and push out and take a third. Um... Yeah, this this is rough. This is really rough. Bisu can basically do whatever he wants, and what he wants is a third base. I mean, he could take a fourth if he wants. Uh, just add on a bunch of gateways, go full gateway man. He's got a dune on the way. He's gonna get into speed and probably a storm as well quite soon. And we're just gonna be sitting here building upgrades. Yeah, he canceled. Yeah, yeah. I didn't think that was a good idea either. Definitely speed changing his mind there, realizing that he's just, he ain't gonna be able to win this game if he tries to take it long. He's gotta go like six fact and just try to win. And there it is, five factory so far. Maybe that's all he can afford. 40 SCVs, I think he could afford six factories, but um, he's transferring some workers back to the main, realizing he's got way too much of the natural. What's going on here? Something was glitching out there, but He's gonna send tanks out on the map now. I'm a little bit worried that these tanks are gonna get caught. That observer was just watching everything move. And here comes that Reaver. Uh, he's gonna wait for the Dragoons to get targeted and then probably try to drop. He's forcing out a siege here, but just a one siege. Pretty good by speed. Managing to move into range of this stuff without allowing the Reaver to get any shots off. I don't know, maybe if he can get along this wall here, it might be hard to dislodge. Oh, he's going to lose one tank. That's a little bit rough. He's macroing out quite a bit. Five factory push. Let's see if he can break. DT's being made. Oh, that's dirty. That is dirty. You know what just died was the eBay. <laughs> the eBay just went down, by the way. Oh, another tank. Just lovely. Oh, man. That's so painful. Oh, another two vultures. Oh, my God. These are getting so much damage. Three kills on that. I'd like to see how many kills on this one as well, but he picks it up. And I'll go ahead and back up a little bit more. All he needs to do is buy time for these DTs. We don't have any. We don't have anything. Guys, we don't, we literally don't have anything. GG is called. Damn. Absolutely wrecked here. Bisu. Pulling off a nasty, nasty play style. Going for rangeless goon attack absolute brain dead maneuvers just diving into the natural i mean I, yeah i'll give him some credit the surround on the bunker was pretty sick right putting the dragoons all the way around to prevent the repair it just barely worked because speed was right on top of it pulling his scvs immediately to block or to, to try and get the repair going before the the units came in if he got one more scv on that I think he might have held. Alternatively, if he had just pulled his tanks back 
and kept fighting the the dragoons at their maximum range or outside their maximum range pulled some scvs to the ramp here and taken a little bit more seriously he wouldn't have lost three tanks to just you know to rangeless dragoons that's not supposed to happen okay that's not how that is supposed to go we're supposed to be able to hold that but some mistakes were made and speed takes another l i mean what are we thinking guys if we changed our our minds people in the comments who said speed are we still gonna go with speed here who's gonna make it deeper in the ssl i think we're gonna be seeing a lot of bisous in the in the chat down there in the comments but there's still two more games to go let's see if speed can redeem himself coming up game number three okay game number three speed of defeat down here in the bottom right hand corner versus yolo swaggins what was that in game number two <laughs> just run in just run in with the rangeless dragoons kind of hilarious honestly this is that's that's such a ladder move seriously you don't expect to see that out of the the legend of you know bisu um <laughs> just just bust the front pretty pretty funny if the scvs are there you, you look like a complete dumbass like it's really really dumb but uh because speed was just seconds late with the scvs coming forward he was just wasn't quite able to hold that so Bisu gets a nice easy win there. Pretty tough to make a comeback after losing your first three tanks against Nexus first. Oh my gosh. It is painful, but... We're going to see what Speed can do in this game. He's already been gas stolen. We've seen he's had uh, quite a bit of propensity to go into Gas's fast expanse. So that might be what we just see here. Him just come down and build a bunker. But there's a forward gateway, which is just going to put on a lot of pressure and force speed to micro to the absolute max. He's going to have to deal with multiple zealots coming in. Actually, we're only doing one zealot. That's interesting. One zealot and then straight into Nexus and it wasn't able to be blocked. So stopping that from getting blocked. Pretty good stuff. Zealot, I thought it was really going to run by there, but instead he backs off. And we're just going to have a Nexus. Or uh, we're just going to have a CC, excuse me. CC here in the Nat. And it's really not that far behind the Nexus. So I'm actually feeling Speed's position. It's not bad. I think he's done a pretty good job. And Bisu really hasn't done the damage he was looking for. We're going to pull four SCVs to go ahead and kill this. We're going to get the, uh, the gas going in just a moment's time. Looks like he's going to line that up quite nicely. The gas can start immediately. Uh, okay, there we go. Gas is going to start. And yeah, everything looks fine here for speed. I'm not at all unhappy with this position. I don't think he is either. And we'll see what he can do here in this game. Are we going to have some zealots run by? Eh, we built two. It's still possible. We could go for that. But at this point, four Marines in the bunker does pretty well against two zealots you're gonna have to run by which will allow you to or will make you take quite a bit of damage and then once the marines pop out they can still micro after that and one of your zealots is already pretty badly damaged so i don't think he's uh, necessarily gonna go for that still haven't seen range here just yet straight into robotics which has been pretty trendly trendy lately just a single factory at home for speed so far. And let's see. Second refinery. Academy coming up. He wants to get some scans going. Hasn't got a lot of uh, information on the map just yet. Would have expected him to put out an SCV and go find out what Beast is doing. Maybe I missed that. But he does opt to go for this early academy. Now it's not as much of a commitment as going for an early eBay. If you really feel like your opponent's going to do something tricky, the eBay, there's really nothing better than that for covering all your bases. Um, the academy is a, a much better 
overall decision having that academy it gives you a lot more like it gives you defensive vision and it also gives you a offensive vision you can go and find out what the opponent's doing whereas the ebay it really just gives you that defensive vision and and you know defensive power against things like the shuttle coming in reaver uh dt drop that sort of thing uh the ebay is good for defending that but the academy is much better for getting vision uh, on your opponent's base and what their build is so he's gonna go ahead and grab some of that vision let's see what he sees here Should just catch the tail end of that there it is he sees the main and he sees that the shuttle is already out so he knows that he needs some defense now he's finish finishing up this armory i think we're gonna see like two three goliath defense here that's what i'm expecting from speed in another moment he's got you know tank siege tank siege mode on the way he's just gonna make two goliaths it's a reasonable way to handle this putting some supply depots here at the edge of the base will give him some time to respond to where the shuttle is headed and that shuttle is just gonna get loaded up now the reaver is gonna come out and we're gonna have two goliaths already prepared here a second machine shop is beginning and he's going to go ahead and get Karen Booster. So everything looking good here for speed. I think he is responding accordingly to all the different moves from Bisu. Let's see if Bisu can get in here and get some damage. Will we lose this observer? Yes, we will. Good movement here from speed. Catching that. Oh, oh, not quite, baby. Not quite. Two HP on that. Oh, breaking the ankles bisu dude that observer that thing is so sick the moves on this man we're gonna fly into the natural here and just go for it dropping right on top of the goliath just insta gibbs that goliath gonna go for some kills on a few scvs dropping in between the uh, shots of the tank very nice baiting of the shot there Getting another shot. Ooh, nice kill on that tank as well. And he's just fly out after this. One more kill. Nope. Not so lucky. It's like one vulture made its way over here and got picked off by those two dragoons. Nothing major on Bisu's side of the map, but we've already slowed down the Terran by quite a bit. Dude, that observer. Just asking to get killed in this main base, but... Not going to be baited into throwing out any more scans here. Oh, he does throw out a scan. He thought the observer was there. Oh, man. This observer is the best hide and seek player ever. Look at him. Just hang. He could hang with the best of them. So he actually. Did he scan again? Wait, where did he scan? Okay, he scanned the main. Wants to see how many gateways. He sees four more on the way. It's a pretty heavy commitment into Gateway, man. Um, there's going to be a lot of forces out here for Bisu soon. And I don't think it's a good idea for uh, Speed to push out before 5 Factory. And yeah, he's got 5 Factory back at home. He's going to try and get out on the map a little bit. So you have plus 1. He does have plus 1. First tank goes down. Good dodge there. We're keeping these Reavers so healthy in this game. Can he actually get a shot? Not quite. Bisu really on top of it this game. I don't know if it was the last game or the game before that. He actually ended up losing one of his early Reavers. But this game, he is really on top of things. This one observer still hanging out in the main. What a cheeky bugger. Just chilling there. 2 HP. Still not being picked off. And Bisu very happy about knowing exactly what's going on in this main base. We've slowed things down substantially. We can't really push this direction as speed. And okay, I kind of like it. He faked it. There was a little pump fake there. He went south and had Bisu uh, moving southward to kind of counter that move, but immediately crosses this bridge. That was a very cheeky, you know, quick way to cross that bridge. I like it. I like it. It's like one tank will end up going down, but a Reaver does get picked off. Oh, this is too bad. Oh, this is too bad. There's way too many units here, dude. Speed is just getting slapped. 
absolutely slapped by Bisu right now. Speed, he really thought that he could push across the map right there, but he absolutely could not. And now he's sitting out in the front. He needs to take a third, actually. He's lost way too much. He's going to start, I guess, Science Facility. He's going to start his plus two soon. Starting to set up a bit of a turret ring as well. Nah, he just, he, he's not feeling it. GG. Speed taps out. Oh, dude. Dude. Bees are looking so good, man. This is speed. This is not some, you know, ACS level player. This is not some, you know, random ladder player. This is another contender for the ASL. And Bisu is just running roughshod right over him. It is crazy to see these old school players like Bisu Stork in uh, old school Protoss in 2024. Just hammering it out against these new school players like Speed, you know, Ride Sky, etc. Royal Rush. All these guys are kind of getting dominated right now. It's kind of insane, but we've got one more game. Let's go and check it out. But I think we all know Bisu just killing it, dude. This guy is... He's feeling himself right now. He's even moving his army around, just kind of like playing in after the game. I wonder how long he stays in this. What is he practicing right now? Is he just, he's just macroing? Maybe he's like talking to some girl on, on Skype or something. Maybe he's talking to the chat. I don't really know, but he finally leaves the game. Three wins in a row. He's got to be feeling happy about that. I bet, I bet that Speed is hoping he doesn't get this guy in, in his group right now. Because, or maybe he's hoping he does so that he can prove everybody wrong. Or that he can show uh, Bisu what's up. Not sure. We're going to jump into our next game. It's our fourth and final one. So strap in, get ready, let's go. All right, game number four is going to be on kickback. With speed down here in the bottom right. And you might notice something kind of funny. Pisu playing Zerg. A little bit of a mix up here. I'm not sure what he's doing. Just messing around, I guess. He's already proved himself capable of taking down speed easily, in fact. So, I'm going to be messing around on Zerg. I, I really haven't seen much Zerg out of Bisu. But as a Zerg player myself, I'm excited to see the legend playing on my race. Looking forward to uh, seeing what kind of builds he wants to pull out here. How's his Muta Micro? That is an interesting question, but not the not the game we were expecting to have, but I'm excited. I want to see what happens here. It's always interesting when players, uh, you know, go off race. Always makes me wonder, who's the next big pro player who's going to take up the mantle of random? Like, we've already seen the flash random, but... Is it possible? Would we ever see like a, a soul key play random in ASL? Or a Bisu? You know, who's got the guts? Who's got the balls to play random in Flash's stead? Maybe Bisu, man. I mean, his legend extends back farther than Flash. And although he doesn't shine as brightly as the flashiest man as the ultimate weapon, Maybe he can, you know, try it out. Maybe he can try to pull things off. Well, look at this. Very abusive build here from the legend. Bisu going for three hatch before pool. That is a cheeky, cheeky way to start this match. And he's actually got, or he, he's managed to get the drone into the base. And he sees the pretty quick gas here. <laughs> a bit of cheeky play hiding the drone in behind the mineral patches unfortunately we'll end up losing that a little bit of a mistake there probably could have uh, used to see this extra hatch or this extra cc but it is what it is gonna get chased down with this scv can he get it not quite looks like the scv is gonna see the third uh, hatchery not much he can do about it though with just a couple of marines he's built 
factory gonna start factory play from speed love to see it is Bisu gonna be able to handle this he's uh slightly supply block right now looks like he's got the overload popping though can be a little harder to balance these uh these economies when you're getting so much more resources with uh that extra hatch way earlier but it seems like Beast is doing a really reasonable job here. He has overlords heading out. This is a pretty risky overlord. But it looks like he's actually going to make it over this, this little uh, patch here. Um, That's a very nice position. I mean, we've got great vision here now. Pretty tough to get your overlord to this position just because there's so much space to wander through. And so much potential for those marines to just pick that off, but... Can see he's managed to make it here and now i mean look at all the great vision we've got there's only this tiny little sliver which uh marines could slide out of or maybe a little sliver there too but as long as you put a ling right here you're gonna be able to see everything whoa now we can see nothing starport on the way no double starport or anything he's just gonna go straight into armory and he should have like two valkyries out before we can even see any Milas hit this field, which is kind of crazy. It's all due to the delayed timings of this uh, three hatch before gas evolution chamber on the way. So it's going to be Mutas directly into ultra play. Very quick ultra here. And that might end up playing very well for, for Bisu because you know what? It's pretty easy on this map to snag another base and just put Sunkins. And Goliaths are going to have a really hard time against that. It's actually going to be Marines after this. And Marines, too, will have a hard time breaking through. If you set up a good Sunken Wall here, a nice Sunken Wall here, and then you snag a base like this and put a Sunken Wall here, you can have four gases with two Sunken Walls. That is kind of crazy. It's not going to last long. These are low... Uh, gas bases. They've only got 3,000 on each. So they will mine out very quickly. See, this one still has 4,000. This one's already, you know, 2,900. That is a little bit wild. Um, they do mine out very quickly. Oh, Vulture run by. Vulture run by is actually going to hurt so bad. Good, good block there. Honestly, very good block. He's only going to lose one drone. So far, just one. All right, can you get a second? No, I think that's been handled. Very nicely done, honestly. Bisu with the really quick pull on those drones. Oh, another drone goes down. Not the best control there. Forgot to put an overlord in that group. Um, a little bit harder to control if you don't have that overlord grouped in. But he's gonna get his drones up now. He's gonna have a Hydra Den coming. And he's very shortly going to see that this is the Valkyrie play with uh, with barracks. Extra barracks. And so as soon as he sees that, he'll know to start his uh, Lurker. He needs Lurker here. I think he just saw the Marines. And as soon as he finds out about that, he knows that he's got to start Lurker. And there it is. Lurker on the way. First Valkyrie is here. Actually, it's three Valkyries. Whew, that's a lot of damage. See, losing a big chunk of the health on all of those. Uh, we need like six Sunkins right now. We need six Sunkins ASAP. Luckily, it is cross map. It's going to take some time for these uh, Marines to come across. Okay, that's not that many Marines. I thought it was actually more. Um, so, you know, four Sunkins will be fine. Six Sunkins, not necessary. That armor is almost done here. How are we doing on plus one? Do we even have plus one? No, and it hasn't started either. Oh boy, that's scary. Some Scourge coming down. Are they going to be able to connect? No, not quite. The Valkyrie's here, cleaning out some stuff, but they can't really push in with this uh, group of Scourge around here. So a tank is going to be uh, sent out. I don't think he's got Siege Mode, though. No Siege Mode. Hive just started. Siege mode going to start here soon. There it is. Siege mode on the way. First tank coming out. Scourge going to try to connect. Can he actually get a connection? Okay. Gets one. He did get one. 
Drop, 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 drop. We need this drop. We need this drop to get killed. Can he get it? Oh, one hit, one hit, one hit, one hit. That's very big. 41 HP on that. He's got to get this. He's got to get this. Nicely done. Very good job there by Bisu. That was absolutely worth it. He's just going to run out and kill that. Easy money. Another base over here. He didn't even know about that. <laughs> Bisu had no idea that there was a base there. Uh, so he's probably going to go kill that now. Um, or just go ahead and hit these uh, sunken colonies, I guess. Even a spore over here. That's a Protoss player for you. Building a spore. He knows how strong those are. These two uh, Valkyries are going to get picked off. Nicely done. But the tank push is scary. We actually maybe need to get out here. There's no... Oh my goodness. There's no medics with this, by the way. I didn't even notice that. No medics. There's going to be a couple coming up now. Looks like he's going to catch some of the reinforcements. Beautiful play by Bisu. Picking off those re reinforcements is actually huge. Let's see. How many mutas are there? 11. Oh, he can kill these tanks. Oh, yeah. He can definitely kill these tanks. If he just commits and goes after them, he can definitely get those more sunkins coming up behind this. Is it going to waste too much money in sunkins? That could be a problem. Plus one is on the way. Dude, we're already halfway done. Plus two armor. If Bisu survives this, he's going to have a pretty good time in this game, I think. Cancel. Cancel. All right. He doesn't cancel. That's a little bit sad. Would like to see the cancel there. Irradiate's just about done. Is Bisu going to be good enough to pull out the mutas from the stack? I feel like he hasn't practiced this. Oh, it was a top one. He should be okay. Yeah, he's okay. Just losing a little bit of uh, health on those mutas. But he's going to be able to mix in the rest. 11 mutas in the stack. Just go for it, man. Fight these tanks. Fight the marines. There's only one medic here. A Soma would have absolutely ruined this. Go for it. Go for it. Get in there. Rotate some more mutas in. Get it. Get it. Go after it. There we go. Okay. He's just gonna he's just gonna get it finally. My god. He waited a little bit too long there. Maybe he's gonna lose 12 o'clock because of it. He should be able to get this vessel though if it sticks around. No, he's actually gonna save this. Yeah, he is gonna save that. And dude, we're gonna get so far ahead in upgrades now. This is gonna be really bad for speed. Is speed actually <laughs> Is he going to lose to Bisu Zerg? Man, my faith in speed is dropping like a stone right now. I better find out later that this is actually not speed or something. Oh, it's It's been confirmed, but I feel like... Could this actually... Are we, are we serious? Is this speed? Is he going to lose to Bisu's random after losing three times to his Protoss in a row? That is crazy. But it actually could happen. Four guardians are being made right now. He's actually planning to make guardians maybe f to, to defend the tank push. But, I mean, guardians are great. They're great at attacking. He's going to come over here and hit this base. He didn't actually build any devours, though. So that'll probably just be killed by a couple of wraiths. One meat over here. Beats an irradiate. But we're fine with that. Two irradiates down for just the cost of two mutas absolutely fine wraiths are going to be produced as the uh guardians go to work over here this army is going to make it over to the 12 o'clock it seems like he's going to lose that which is unfortunate he's only mining two on gas here by the way that's quite the uh quite the big mistake you can actually lose games because of that a hundred percent that can happen but a few scvs go down over here which is nice getting some damage out of those uh those costly guardians. One scourge, unfortunately, going to fall. But ultras are on the way. Four ultras and plus three armor is coming up. We don't even have plus two. Plus two hasn't even started. Guys, we're going to have five armor ultras versus these plus one marines. I don't care if you are, you know, light years ahead of your opponent here as speed. When four or five plus five ultras come out, you are going to lose that game. There's just no two ways about it, I don't think. Now, one way you can get rid of these guardians a little bit more cost efficiently. Now, the wraith will kill all of these, so it's not that bad. But you can just irradiate your wraith or one of your science vessels and just do it that way. 
gonna be a little bit easier oh you know you can kill like 10 guardians with one irradiate if you do it correct if you do it correctly um or you can just kill one with one irradiate if you do it incorrectly but regardless he clears that out just one guardian remains still gonna be an annoyance there's already six kills gonna get a seventh here but that's not really the big oh wait he he got speed first who the hell gets speed first that is insane what are we what are we watching getting chitinous plating after it's kind of wild the ultras are gonna head down here they're still waiting for their plus five armor so it's not the biggest deal you know he's about to get that plus three Sending some drones down to bottom left. He's just gonna clear this up. Uh, unfortunately, I'm revealing all his ultras. So if Speed was watching that, he should come down here with some uh, some vessels and just clear. Is he gonna lose his tank? Oh, it's so close. He loses it. All right, here we go. I think there's a scan in bottom left. He'll probably head down with the vessels to clear to to start hitting these with the radiates, but maybe not. Maybe not. Just about mined out here. Just about mined out here. We need another gas. However, the ultra armor is about to finish. There it is. Ultra armor is done. Plus five armor against these plus one marines. Oh, man. This is... It's just so pathetic. These things are never going to kill anything. It's going to be so silly. Oh, the scourge coming through as well. The one thing that can actually deal with these... Uh, with these ultras is those irradiates they actually deal a heaps of damage to these but look at these marines <laughs> look at all the marines targeting the one ultra <laughs> oh my god it's so sad man one ultra died for like 20 <laughs> marines oh dude it's so bad let's let's calculate how much damage these marines are actually doing it's six armor total to seven damage you're doing one damage oh my god one damage for a hit is so insane you might as well not even have plus one because you would deal still one damage uh no matter what so it's kind of crazy the um, marines are just gonna get cleared up he saves the base in bottom left and the ultra number is growing plus two is gonna finish here soon to speed's credit you will have that but undoubtedly one of these bases will finish there's really no way to shut them all down you, know, you could try to get out with okay battle cruisers are gonna come out you know some drops could happen he's sitting here timid in his natural waiting for the ultras to come but there's no real reason for bisu to attack like he doesn't have to attack here just go and take more bases it's quite simple just Gonna make some uh, sunkens and spores over here. He sees the battle cruisers coming. Gonna bring the scourge down here to deal with this. Yeah, make a make a spore. That's the right call. And as long as he gets you know two one two more gases online, he can continue to make ultras, and he can he can deny bases, which is what uh, speed really needs right now. Look at he's basically on one base mining. Um, at least soon to be on one base mining. There we go. Getting on top of those. I guess there's armor. Yeah, that's right. He went armor to start. So he's got armor, which means that the battle cruisers can't one shot until they have plus one. And then they can one shot forever. Even if you have three armor, uh, the battle cruisers can still one shot. So very critical upgrade to get this plus one ship ship weapons. And he's going to finish that now. Um, plus three is on the way, but I think we've bought enough time. There's what? 11 ultras? 11 ultras and still an upgrade advantage. So... Um, yeah, we're doing two damage now. <laughs> two damage. Coming from these Marines per hit. So, you know, that, that takes a long time with 400 health. 400 health is, uh, it's quite substantial. Quite substantial amount of health. Now, Ultras are going to come down here. We did manage to get in through that, uh, little natural choke before the Ultras come. So... You know, he can set up a pretty good wall of medics behind him if he approaches this properly. Looks like we're going to have one of these go down. Maybe. Oh, man. That uh, battle cruiser is hanging on for 
an inordinate amount of time, but it's okay. As you can see, multiple gases being taken in the top right-hand corner. We're just mass expanding around the map right now and gonna have a very hard time handling this. He's really just waiting for the plus three before making any more moves. Um, moving out on the map right now feels like a mistake. I think speed should just stay here. Maybe send an SCV down, try to take that base. And just wait. We, need, we really need to wait for that plus three. It makes such a big difference. It's uh, it's 50% more damage, right? Because you're only dealing two damage right now per hit with the Marine. If you get that plus three, it's three per hit. Which is, yeah, 50% more. So it's it's a massive deal. It is a huge upgrade for these Marines. And if he takes this fight before the plus three finishes and then, you know, loses, <laughs> I'm going to be a little bit upset because we're like 40 seconds away from that being done. And speed is actually crossing the map. Oh my speed, please. Please, man. For the viewers, do not take this fight right before your upgrade is done. Oh my God, here we go. A pretty decent uh, position here, but again, <laughs> plus three is not done. We're missing out on 50% of our damage. Oh, great D matrix there. Absolutely fantastic. There's the plus three finishing up. Just in time for everything to die. Well done, Speed. Everything is now gone and GG is called. Dude. Ugh. Speed, you're, you're really... You're really making me mad right now, dude. What are you doing? Why did we have to take that fight right there? You better not do that in the SSL or the KCM or I'm coming for you. You better believe it. What a wacky game. What a wacky series, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. I had a lot of fun casting this, honestly. This is a, a breath of fresh air here. With qu quite a few just wonky, wacky games. I don't know if this is um, a, like a lead up to ASL, if this is what ASL is going to look like. Oh, that's weird. Look at that blood on top of the ultra. All the other blood is underneath. I don't know how that one got on his face, but it's kind of interesting. Yeah, I don't know if this is going to be like a precursor to the ASL. But if we think about how the ASL has gone so far, I mean, there's been a lot of wackiness all around. It's been It's been kind of crazy. Hope that's not a spoiler for any of you guys if you haven't seen any of the SSL yet. But from what I've seen, um, it's been pretty pretty wonky for the most part. Anyways, guys, that's it for this little series, this little video series here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll be back for another one tomorrow, so make sure to subscribe. We're almost at... 6969 six, subscribers. We are currently at 6708. So make my dreams come true. Subscribe to the channel. We're going to get 6969 here shortly. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.